Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles, a great millstone. And sorry to taste you, brothers, putting the word in truth and in sincerity, all right? I want to get into a quick lesson. Basically, uh, staying in the spirit and not being carnal, okay? And, um, we're not gonna we're not grabbing weapons or or becoming militant, okay. We're gonna trust in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Cause that's what's gonna save us through these these upcoming times. Alright? The name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is what's gonna save us. Not a bow, not a gun, not a weapon. Alright. So I'm gonna grab a couple of precepts and uh Hopefully the lesson is edifying, okay? It's Psalm 44 and 6. Now I start at 5. It says, Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through through what? Through Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Through thy name, right? Will we tread them under under that rise up against us. Alright? So the name of the Lord is a strong tower, man. The righteous run up into it and it's safe. We're going to hide behind you. How about Jimmy? I was shy. He's our weapon. He's our defense. All right? He's our strength to the battle. Okay? It says, For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. All right? So we're not going to trust in anything carnal. All right? It said, Through thy name of you, how about Jimmy? I was shy. Shall we be saved? Period. Okay. It says, But thou hast saved us from our enemies and has put them to shame that hated us. In the most high we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever. So law. So we're gonna praise the name of Yahweh Shimmy Awa Shai. And through his name, alright, the heavenly father name which is Yahweh, and his only begotten son name which is Yahweh Shai. Through them, we're gonna win the victory, man. All right, and we boast, we give the Lord His praise all the day long, man. All right, the scripture tell you for man. Matter of fact, let's just get it. Jeremiah nine twenty four. I started uh twenty three. It said, "Thus saith Yahweh, by Shem Shai." Let not the let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. We don't glory in anything that we can do. We don't glory in this flesh. All right, we glory in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's what we glory in. All right, we don't glory in this flesh, man, in our strength, in our own power. We glory in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. And that's what we glory in, man. Giving praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, for giving us this truth. All right? His name, our heritage. All right? This brotherhood. Okay? Like men that's around you to correct you and rebuke you. Okay? It says that I am Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai was exercised loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth, for in, the, for in these things I delight, saith Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. All right? The Lord delights in that, man. We glory in the name of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. All right? But you have to believe, man. You have to believe in his name. You know, you can't be doubting. All right? Sirach 2 and 12. It said, Woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that go of two ways. So we have to believe in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. If you don't believe, you're not going to be protected, man. All right? Because the enemy's going to come in with these kind of weapons. All right? They're going to come put, try to grab us up. But we must keep the name and faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man, no matter what. Okay? Verse 13. It said, Woe unto him that is faint hearted. That means you have a weak spirit, weak mind, weak faith. It say, for he believeth not. Why? Because a strong mind is having strong faith, man. 
Faith in who? Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai. Period. That's a strong mind. Having integrity. All right? Remembering the things that are written in the fourth man. Let me grab it right quick. Remembering the things that happened before us, how the Lord saved all the great men in, in, in the old times, man. Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written before time were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. And that's our hope, man. Reading these accounts of uh, all the men of the Lord that were saved back then. So how much more now in this time? And we're at the end. All right? We're at the end. So it's not time to be faint-hearted. We should be building up our spirit, praying more, fasting more, doing whatever you have to do, all right, to build up your spirit in your how about Shem Shai. Teaching his word, going harder, pushing. This is not the time to be getting weak. Oh, I'm weak, I'm tired. Now we at the end, man. Give it your all, you know. Take a deep breath, pray to the Lord, and, and, and finish that race, man. You know? It's all about finishing, man. Fuck how you started. You know, forget what you did yesterday. It's all about now. All right, man. If I can get a preset real quick. You know, fuck what you did a couple of years ago. It don't fucking matter. It says, um,. It's uh, Philipp first, uh, Philippians 3 and 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of the Most High in Hamashiach and was shy. And that's what we do, man. We're pressing, for we pressing forth toward the mark. We're not looking back, man. You know, each day come by, we do, we do what we can for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and we do it with all our might. You know, you know, you do what you can do for that day, man, because ain't no day promised to you, man. But the Lord wakes you up in the morning, hey, you get a praise for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and you let not a good day go past, man, without doing something good. Teaching this word, spreading the word, being a brother, helping a brother, you know, praying more. Something toward this truth, man. Daily. All right. So we we're not worried about what we did yesterday or two years ago or a year ago. We're not reminiscing. You know, as one day go past and we're fortunate to make it to another day through the Spirit. You know, the, the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We we move on and we go to the next page, man. And we do. We just keep moving, man. One day at a time. All right. But back in Sirach 2 and 13, it say, Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, a weak spirit, less weak faith, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. The Lord's not going to defend you if you don't believe he can, he can, man. You know? If you if you don't even believe that you're going to get a reward in this truth, then the Lord's not even pleased in what you're doing. It's a Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that come unto the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, man. So if you don't even believe in the work you're doing, you're going to re receive a reward for it. You're not even pleasing the Most High, man. The Most High is pleased with faith, believing, sacrificing, putting your life on the line, which shows faith, because you know Lord will, you will do it to the end that you will receive it again and even a hundredfold. And Shahawah Shai told Peter. You know? He's not unrighteous that he will forget your righteous works towards him, man. You know? You got to believe this, man. Faith is, a, is the main, biggest part of this truth. Proverbs 24 and 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. That means your faith is small, man. All right? 
we have to be uh, praying and begging the Lord to increase our strength, increase our faith. You know, give us more understanding. You know, give us the strength to keep going. You know? Not getting weak, you know? But getting strong as we see the day approaching, man. Okay? You got to believe. Because the Lord's going to lift that standard up, man. <clears throat> and you got to believe these things. Isaiah 59, 19. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh, Ba'ashem Shai, shall lift up a standard against him. All right? And the Lord's going to fight for us, man. All right? Now, it's written that some of us will be beheaded for the name of Yahweh, Ba'ashem Shai. But a lot of us, some of us, are, um, the Lord's going to give us some spiritual download, man. And we're going to lift up that standard in the name of Yahweh, Ba'ashem Shai, and defeat the enemy, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Alright? Man, we're living in some 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 uh some wonderful times, scary times, but beautiful times, man. Because we're at the end of our captivity. Alright? And the Lord's arm is not too short where he's not able to save, man. Okay, we're about to see some miracles, brothers. You know? That even if we told you, you should not be believed, man. We're telling you these things through the men of the Lord, the prophets, on the highways and the byways, through the videos, through the internet. We're telling you that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is coming to save. All right? So we must endure and pray for faith. And remember that this is a, a spiritual battle. You know? The weapons of our warfare is not carnal. Okay? But that's the point, you know? We have to stay in the spirit and pray for more faith. You know, because through the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, we're going to win the battle, man. But we have to endure and keep fighting and pray for the spirit. All right? So hopefully the lessons are edifying. I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and Shalom.